Good evening, East Africa. Welcome to yet a brand new and exciting week of the desk. Now more than ever, I am used truly Shadrach Shagaf I And mean, now guess what? As the United States was busy a couple of uh, days and weeks ago trying to dictate who will be their president, they actually selected. And uh, tonight is actually not a political show, but um, I'm just happy for the United States because they actually decided whom they wanted now thank you very much for always watching the desk the continuous leading intellectual platform actually the highest platform for solution finding and also thank you very much for keeping yourselves on logged on to u24 television now we trust that every time you watch u24 you inspired and motivated and above all you are educated like tonight it's going to be actually somewhat a very healthy episode because the man in the chair ladies and gentlemen this is a health or fitness specialist i'm telling you mr alan guma when you look at this man, you just know he's either a sportsman or from the gym. Welcome to the show, Alan. Ah, uh, Shadrach, thank you for the flattery. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, Shadrach. Now, Mr. Alan Guma here, if you're to note, he's very passionate about health. It's not just about the money, right? It's not really about the money. Passion. It's passion. Where did it all start from? Uh, uh, from the very beginning. Um, if I may take this way back to when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. Uh, in one of the suburbs of Kampala. Mm -hmm. um, the very first gym that I ever uh, visited, I was, I think, around S1. Uh, if I may remember. S S1, I, when you talk about S1, I remember was so small, I don't think I could <laughs> lift a <them> metal. <laughs> uh, uh, I, and I, I'm, I'm somewhat uh, scared to mention the year because I, I would feel I would appear to be so old. Oh, dear. But, uh, but anyway, it was 2001, I was in S1, and uh, the very first gym that I entered, Mm -hmm. was in Mengo mm -hmm. and I be believe it or not I think that gym is still standing till today till today like um, a modern gym or maybe it was a small <laughs> no it still is a small local gym <laughs> um, but uh, from a very young age and I, I, I think at, in S1 you're around maybe 14 15 mm -hmm. um, I was captured by the art of you know and and you know the the willingness and the the need to stay fit and mm -hmm. uh, along the way maybe you know get bigger get muscles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, long story short, I ended up leaving, going to the U.S., pursued my studies over there. Mm -hmm. uh, lived there for about eleven years of my life, but I was still in and out of the gym. Living mm -hmm. in the U.S., mm -hmm. having a gym membership is like breathing air. Uh, okay, um, people. Just a quick one. In the U.S., how beneficial, how easy is it for one to have a membership card? Is it as easy as Uganda? Um, it, it pretty much is. Um, there are so many franchises, gym franchises, uh, from LA Fitness to 24 Hour Fitness uh, to the, some of the most elite franchise mm -hmm. um, companies out there for like celebrities and whatnot. So there's mm -hmm. something for everybody. Okay. And so uh, the health... Being healthy and staying fit um, in the U.S. or should I say those developed countries, mm -hmm. it's it's it, it's it's almost um, super encouraged, and you would come off as maybe the awkward one who is just sitting around and not trying to stay physical. Sorry, not trying to stay active, active. Mm -hmm. and eat healthy. So um, it's yes, it is easy. That's the you know there is a narrative here in Uganda where um, most of the people who are bodybuilders or people who gym or people who mug are seen as time wasters you know mm. it's, it's, it's you know the health angle and that's what i actually want you to talk about the health angle has been ignored and people are just looking at it more, more of a show like even if your parents say you're just going to bodybuild you're just going to bodybuild wasting time what, what let's just talk about it the health versus the narrative that is going on here i am so glad you have brought up this narrative mm -hmm. and um I think this is a, one of the best opportunities to set this straight. Yes. Now, um, if you are an individual that practices, for the most part, right, you're, mm -hmm. t you're tipping the balance mm -hmm. with living a healthy lifestyle. What does that entail? Mm. You're eating, for the most part, mm -hmm. um, nutritious, highly nutritious foods that are, uh, that, 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 that are nutritiously dense. Mm. I can always break that down. Um, a, a bit later, okay. but that just a technical way of saying your greens, mm. your your eating. For the most part, Ugandans we we have uh, we've been blessed mm -hmm. that all, almost all the meals that we are eating are uh, they haven't been genetically modified, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now um, all our foods are 
organic. So you're eating well mm-hmm. um, for the most part. You exercise at least three to four times a week. Mm-hmm. And um, an individual that partakes in that kind of lifestyle um, has a way better, um, should I say, one, a feel-good factor of themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody that exercises and eats well for the most part, um, uh, they, they have a feel-good factor of themselves. They get to rest better at night. Um, if you rest better at night, you then you obviously wake up in the morning well rested and ready to ab- take on your day. Talking about resting, Alan, there's one time I went to the gym. <laughs> I'd never rested better. <laughs> My body hurt the entire night. I I I perfectly I can relate one hundred percent. Um Yes, for any beginner who's going to start out exercising, mm. um, your body is going to be sore. And actually, typically what happens is that the second day, uh, pri- sorry, the second day after you've worked out is when you feel the most sore pain. Exactly. Right? Mm. So whenever you go to the gym, um, what happens behind the layers, right, mm. under the skin is mm. that you're causing small micro tears in your muscle. Right, mm. and so when you recuperate, when you go home, you mm. eat healthy, you eat better, mm-hmm. you eat greens, proteins, and mm-hmm. equal amounts of carbohydrates. Mm-hmm. Um, then now you give time for your for your muscles to heal, right? Mm-hmm. And so that repetitive movement, depending on what your goals are, if you're looking to lose weight, gain mm-hmm. weight, stay mm-hmm. fit, mm-hmm. Um, you, so what you're doing, you keep you repeatedly you you repetitively do that. Um, y- your body just keeps growing, growing, and that's how somebody gets to grow stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, if you had kept on, maybe uh, I would be bigger. You would be way bigger. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be a bouncer somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> so let's talk about the the benefits. We're talking about the benefits. Why it is not more of a show thing? Like we need to change this narrative where people actually. This is a perfect place to talk to the people because most people think. You're wasting time, you're wasting time. Why is it important that the youth out there should go to the gym? Wow, that's an awesome question, mm-hmm. Shadrach. Um, uh, take, for instance, at my facility, mm-hmm. which still is closed. Uh, mm-hmm. That's something, that's a talk for another day. No, no, in the next segment, we're going to talk about it. Okay, mm-hmm. that's awesome. So take, for instance, at my facility. Mm-hmm. Um, I have individuals from CEOs. Mm-hmm. Um, from you know people that are business owners like myself mm-hmm. who take and know that you know what staying healthy and fit um, we only we all have just one body right this mm-hmm. is the shell that's going to take us mm-hmm. uh, to our to our latter years yep. of our lives mm-hmm. right and um, we are vessels yes right mm. we are vessels we are vessels so okay. um, we are vessels of God, right? Mm-hmm. And so your body is 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 holding this thing called the spirit, mm-hmm. right, in mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. And so it's 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 incumbent upon yourself to take care of it. Okay. And one of the better ways to take care of it is to sign up at a gym, or um, if you do not have the uh, you know the, uh, the the ability to sign up at a gym, run around, map out a course around your neighborhood, mm-hmm. run, and 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 eat healthy for mm-hmm. the most part, right? Mm-hmm. So you do not have to be um, somebody that 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 has to have the ability to afford a gym membership. Mm-hmm. That's a wrong misconception. You can map out a route around your your neighborhood, run, mm-hmm. or you can either sign up at a gym, the one nearest you, mm-hmm. and um, you know if they're nice enough, like we are, mm-hmm. uh, we take everybody from beginners to intermediate. To a point whereby you're a pro and you can take yourself through it. Through that, through that okay, before we go for a short break, this COVID, we've seen a lot of the elderly people die. Is it because because COVID actually hurts people who are who are who have an immune system that is actually deficient or that is low? Do you think if people, you know, were doing what you're doing or what you're trying to pitch for them to do, they would have a strong chance against COVID? One hundred percent. They would have their immunity would be so through the roof mm-hmm. and um, you have you stand a better fighting chance mm-hmm. when you're living a healthy lifestyle and you exercise, mm-hmm. right? It's pretty much, um, you can liken it to taking a vehicle for uh, a service, mm-hmm. right? So most of us, 
most Ugandans are out there with no servicing. Like the last time they did anything physical was in, was on Sports Day, on right? On Sports Day, PE. A PE, and yeah. they did uh, egg on spoon, you know, yeah. something that did not require any physical, or maybe egg on spoon, if I may. It, it might have you know, required them to use their neck muscles. Their neck has, you know, holding high chest, jump, maybe. high jump, maybe. Uh, uh, and so, um, <clears throat> if you are out there mm -hmm. and you are not exercising, I highly recommend for you to start exercising. Mm -hmm. Or when gyms are fully um, open. officially mm -hmm. open, mm -hmm. by all means, um, come to Wear Vessels, Kensington Challenger. Mm -hmm. uh, you will be in a way better fighting position, a fighting chance to be able to fight. Mm. Fend of COVID, mm -hmm. flu, the common cold, yes. uh, and all these other things that you know may want to take you down. Yeah, because I've actually seen most of the people that have died are the elderly. We don't have guys that are still energetic dying of COVID. You know what? When you know what's even funny at Shadra, mm. um, now that we're even talking about COVID, mm. I remember way back when COVID was just hitting the you know the globe, mm. and uh, Bill and Melinda Gates and all, and yes. all those people that are predicting flies on you know mm. africa to be like flies on uh, dead bodies on yes yes actually yes and i can attest to the no maybe that might be strong language but I, <laughs> one of the reasons in yes. my humble opinion yes, yes. Uh, is because one you countries like uganda mm -hmm. the biggest percentage are us the youth the youth actually right? actually yeah so most of us um walk a lot the mm -hmm. youth we mm -hmm. are by, by the mere fact that you're, you're young, mm. um, your immune system is is high, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Relative to somebody who is like in their 80s, mm -hmm. right? So which mm -hmm. is why I would imagine countries like Italy, they suffer yeah. the most yeah. because of yeah. the high, um, you know, the, the, the elderly mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're so blessed to be young. I'm telling you. Actually, uh, before we go for a short break, I have a friend of mine, he's, uh, <laughs> he's American, so he told me, Sharak, you know why you guys are not being affected by COVID? I was like, no, because you've grown up eating dirty things. You use your hands to eat. <laughs> Which is very true, the five-second rule. Uh, <laughs> <is> your, uh, <laughs> yeah, something drops on the floor, and then uh, you pick it up after five seconds. If it's well within the five seconds. And, and then you eat yeah. it. Yeah. All right, now do not go away. You are still on the continent's leading intellectual platform, The Desk. Do not go away. The Desk returns in a bit. And welcome back. Now, if you're just joining us, I'm afraid you've missed the very first insightful segment of this very lovely episode of The Desk, where we're talking health and we're talking fitness. The man in the chair, Mr. Guma Allen. He was in the United States and he was there still gymming. I'm telling you, where these people get this passion, I do not know. I tried it once, twice, and I cast the devil and I left. Now, <laughs> you, you can continue with this discussion on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Do it for Shadra Kisame and do it for U24 Television. Now, the number on your screen is not for you to call me to talk to Mr. Guma Allen, but he's going to give you his social media platforms. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Yes, I am. Uh, mm -hmm. We are on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, we are Vessels Fitness on IG, mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, we are Vessels Fitness and Swimming Pool on... So Facebook, okay. uh, that's our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we are on mobile money. <laughs> Those of you who are looking for send us. We are on mobile money. <laughs> we are on mobile money. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's also a social media site. It has become yeah. a social media, especially for the ladies. For the, for, right? <laughs> They're like, I'm on mobile money. I'm for like, you, you give, me your, give me your Instagram. <laughs> no, I'm on mobile. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Okay, so. And by the way, Alan is dressed like this because... Do you have wear suits? Do you even wear jeans or something? Uh, you know, I have, I have uh, some of my OBs. I went to... Uh, fun fact, I went to Namiliango for high school. Mm -hmm. So... Akokalango, he's showing off and, you know, advertising. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, so I went to Namiliango for high school. So some of my OBs do find me at, at the gym. Yeah. And then they always ask me, dude, you're always in shorts. Like, yes. How come? Man? I want to be like you. Some of us were in the corporate world. Yes. And I, I guess I, I've been blessed, right? To I, be in shorts, like to be to be in shorts. Mm -hmm. Um, I run a, a gym facility, mm -hmm. so why why suit up? Why suit up? All right, now let's just talk about um something. The government, mm. for people like you, who are in this space of fitness, you're somewhat ignored. We are. 
you are ignored. Maybe Ministry of Health should come up and enhance you guys. That's the reason as to why you're still closed. You have no voice. Mm. I, you know, we... Um, first of all, let me thank you for bringing up this topic. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I'm going to be... I'm not only going to be speaking for myself, but I'm yes. going to be speaking for um, so many gym owners and mm -hmm. entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who are in the health and fitness industry. Mm -hmm. Now, we, alongside bars... Uh, we have been under lockdown <laughs> from March. Yes. Right? Beats me how um, we have been basketed up with, uh, with people, you know, mm -hmm. of the nightlife, which I'm not judging, yes. right? But, but in, you feel like you're different. We, we are 100% different. <laughs> Gyms uh, and the health and fitness industry, we are an essential service, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, I remember deep into the, you know, the, the lockdown, there was... There were actually a couple of people who kept buzzing my phone. They're like, Sebo, to so well, I could just watch you call it not one compound, the gym, and it was too, 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 go out. You know, we are stressed out. Mm -hmm. we, 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 are, we are under lockdown. We, are, we want to exercise. We feel like we're getting depressed. Mm. And so, this is something that, in my humble you know, appeal and opinion to the Ministry of Health, if they ever get to watch mm -hmm. us. They are watching. Uh, this is national television. They always watch. Oh, that's that's good. That's that's. The, that's the other day, the other day, I was saying something, and then someone was like, "You think for us in government we are not working?" <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I know they are watching. They are watching. <laughs> um, so and you you know like if the day they get to um, open us up, you will be amazed at how many people are looking to get back into some sort of activity mm -hmm. because there's that. We, we truly are an essential service industry mm -hmm. and um, still beats me as to why they basketed us up or put us in the same mm -hmm. lot as bars. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we provide a very essential service to people. We, um, there's a quick story. There's a, there's a gentleman, mm -hmm. um, Deo, is mm -hmm. a random name that I'm going to throw out there. Okay. But Deo has been with us uh, prior. He was with us prior to COVID, before mm -hmm. COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And um, Deo came when he was visibly stressed. I mean, his gentleman had a pale skin. Mm -hmm. um, you could tell that whatever was eating him up or beating him up in outside in life was mm -hmm. really taking a toll on him. Mm -hmm. And um, he, long story short, Deo onboarded with us for about a month. A month in, mm. there were visible signs that, you know, Deo was in a way better physical, you know, mm. uh, uh, position. His skin was glowing. He was livelier. But what does, sorry, sorry, we're going to get back to that, but what does the gym have to do with the skin? Um, it's something to deal with your, your skin pores opening up, right? So ah. when you regularly do something physical, your skin, you're sweating you sweat. The, the, so the your waist pores, is... The toxic. Okay. Yes, yes. Some yes. science there. Yes, yes. So your pores, and and you 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 you, you we, we 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 all have that that you know a body again is like a vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. So you take your vehicle every three thousand miles for a um, mm. for an oil change, yes. for a tune up, for a service. Yes, yes. Right. So if you liken it to a to a human body, mm -hmm. if you're not doing that on a regular mm -hmm. all throughout the week, mm -hmm. you're going to be having all this stuff that are building up in your system. Mm -hmm. And the best way of one of the best ways to help flush out that stuff is to is to gym. Is to gym. So Mr. Dale, did he gain some weight? Or they, they locked down before he had the chance to? Mr. Dale, yes, they locked down before they had the chance to. <laughs> um he he uh Mr. Dale wasn't, you know, at our facility to gain weight. Okay. Um he was one of those older gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And so for him it was a case of just being fit. Mm -hmm. And so and just being in a general physical in, in a much better physical position mm -hmm. and and state. Um uh, because he was visibly stressed out. I mean he was in my humble opinion, I would say he was maybe bordering mm. um anxiety or anything like that. Because from the spirits that he came in like when we interacted the first time mm -hmm. and then a month down the road he was uh he was a, a different, different man. person. Okay, before we go for a short break, there are two aspects or impacts of closure of gyms. Um, that is the financial toll on you mm. and then the health implication on your clients. Mm. You want to say something about the both angles? Yes. Um, like, you know, 
myself and all gym owners out there. <laughs> <laughs> we wow um besides besides being in the health and fitness right it's, it's a passion of ours mm-hmm. so we we took it upon ourselves to um set up something in line with our passion mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um i can speak for we are versus fitness mm-hmm. um which Shadrach, I highly you know, recommend that you pass a visit one of these good days. I don't want to wake up. Nga. <laughs> nga, I can't lift my leg. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Okay. So, so, so we, we, we went in, mm-hmm. right, um, like any other business owner, mm-hmm. to start a, a business. Mm-hmm. And we made massive investments. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are vessels who have been in the business for two years. Okay. And so just when we were starting to, you know, see or you know break even break even uh boom we're hit on the head it's not fair and it's not fair mm. and so as you would imagine we do not own the facility that we are in yes we rent you we pay are tenants. the rent yes and so there are all these months just you have workers we have workers we have a team of people their families depend on you yes it's it's a tree right it's yes. like that tell what what a tree marketing thing mm, yeah mm, mm. um and so you have all these things that just keep building up, just keep mm-hmm. building up. But um, on the bright side, although mm-hmm. um, I'm hearing there's a rumor mm-hmm. that uh, the Ministry of Health uh, decided to look into this whole situation mm-hmm. and they're going to open up gyms. On the side of our clients, yes, um, I alluded to the fact that in the deep lockdown, some clients were banging at our doors and like, at least just let us work in the, in the open. You know, just, movie. Gym is like an addiction. Movie. It's an addiction. Um, the moment you get hooked onto it, it's a, it's a very good addiction. Yeah? Yes. Better than... The positive. Yeah, the better <laughs> side. Yeah. It's... Um, I mean, this guy is just... It's the, you, 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 the moment you get onto into the lifestyle of being able to exercise, you mm-hmm. eat better, you sleep better, you wake up better, you'll be able to attack your day. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's... That's the service that we are here to provide to our clients. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, to get them short break, but people say you interview have a gag. As a gym is have a gag, you know, when you are sitting on the gym, like, like this, like, what, what are you people in plans, or what are you going to do, or have you even thought about it? The narrative about gym, like people think it's for rich people, others think it's for spoiled kids, other, you know, there's, there's a narrative. Are you in plans? Yeah. Are you as gym owners? Uh, gyms. So now, the beauty about us, mm-hmm. we are vessels. Let mm-hmm. me speak for we are vessels. Mm-hmm. Um, our goal as we are vessels is to inspire mm-hmm. a health and fitness industry mm-hmm. in and around our immediate neighborhood. So that's Chanja, Sasi, Ntina. They're for rich people. And they're not for Chikuba Mutwe Chibuli Temuli. No, no, no. We are, com- we are coming to a place near you. Okay. Yeah? We are coming to a place near you. And <laughs> Omutu food day. Omutu wawansi to in to he, they are front and center in our plan. Okay. Um and so how are we going to be able to to inspire that kind of movement, right? Mm-hmm. Making sure that everybody um you know has some sort of physical activity inculcated mm-hmm. into their lives. Mm-hmm. By number one, not hiking premiums yes g memberships mm-hmm. or day rates mm-hmm. when people want to come out and exercise mm-hmm. uh at we are vessels gym only is fifteen thousand, mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. which it which is on the lower side of the you know compared to all these other facilities that you hear about around town mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because again for us we want to encourage mm-hmm. and you exercise and not break your bank Right? Uh, while, while, oh, while we're getting you fit, we don't want you to suffer and yes. not be able to cater to all these things all right. uh, that you have to cater to. Okay, Alan, let me go for a short break, then we come back for the last segment. Now, you are a lovely audience. Do not go away. The desk actually returns in a bit. And welcome back to the last segment of this very lovely episode of The Desk, actually, where we're talking more fitness, the gym. And I tell you, you see, because it's the continent's leading intellectual platform, intellectuality is seen in all angles. Some of these aspects like gyming and health have actually been sidelined. That's why we had 
things like COVID break and take away most of the people. But if it's Wednesday, it's all about the desk on U24 television. Now you can follow this very lovely discussion on social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Do it for Shadra Kisame, do it for U24. And actually, if you have someone in the diaspora or they are not on TV, call them and tell them that the desk is live on Shadra Kisame's YouTube. Now we are still broadcasting here at UBC headquarters, Nakasero Hill, Nile Avenue. Mr. Alan. Yes, sir. As we wind up, this is actually our last segment. Mm. You know, I've never had, to be honest, I've never had a, a show talking about the gym. But in this last segment, I just want us to talk about the nutrition part. Yes. Why it's very important for someone, coupling up with the gym, mm. why it's very important for someone to eat uh, nutritiously, someone to eat good. Mm. And yes, why is it very important to couple up with the gyming? Ah, uh, wow. Uh, you've just touched on the most important thing <laughs> in the health and fitness and wellness space. Okay. Um, before exercising, uh, what we highly recommend at We Are Vessels, mm -hmm. right? We push the nutrition thing hardest, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As much as we'd love for you to come in and exercise and break a sweat and, you know, get a high of endorphins. Mm -hmm. But number one, front and center, it is what you're putting into your mouth, okay. right? Ugandans, we have uh, right from when we were, you know, little. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have been told, Ogenaji <laughs> Malao, you know. <laughs> and then you eat, you eat on uh, not even on a gun point, on like a a, a, a slipper point. A slipper point. Like, <laughs> you know, one, like your, one, your plate is hip. Uh, yes. Two, you're told you're going to finish <laughs> all those calories. And at that, it is all carbohydrates. Like they put for you toke, sweet potato, rice, rice and posho. Yes. And <laughs> with so, the beans. With beans. <laughs> and so you, we, we, we are wondering, like, why, you know, in all fairness, when you were just now just slowly catching on mm -hmm. as a community mm -hmm. and as a country, mm -hmm. that, um, you know what, I think let me water down, let me calm down on these carbohydrates. Yes, yes. Let yes, me yes. put more greens and mm -hmm. carrots and broccoli, sukuma wiki. Mm -hmm. All that green stuff on the, on the plate can be taken mm -hmm. And also, you know, put in the protein. Mm -hmm. Protein is what, you know, get bro gets broken down to bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Right, your mm -hmm. body. You, I, I just thrown out a term bodybuilding. I don't mean that you're going to be you're going to grow muscle, mm -hmm. but we all have muscles on our bodies, right? Mm -hmm. Um, small as you are, or as skinny as you are, mm -hmm. or big, however big you are, mm -hmm. and so your muscles need protein, right? Uh, protein is broken down into amino acids, which mm. yeah, I don't want to be so the, the budget, Most of, of my friends here are watching, I'm bios. <laughs> You know, you know, when you were in school, eh? Yeah. You know, like, I'm an yeah, to temi. Temi. manga bio. So when you go in amino acids, I'll end up losing my following. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but let, let's not, I guess, let me not be so technical. Yes. But nutrition is your number one. And how can you, let me make it as simple and as plain. Mm. Um, if, if they can't, if they don't take away anything from today, let them take away this. Right? Yes. Um, if, if you look at your plate, right? Mm -hmm. Um, split your plate half into into halves mm -hmm. one side of your plate put all kinds of greens on there eh? mm -hmm. if it is green and it grows or it has grown out of you know the ground just you know from your carrots of all colors mm -hmm. put on your plate mm -hmm. um then your other half of the plate divide it up into quarters right mm -hmm. and that's when you can put your like toke in that quarter mm -hmm. eh? your one carbohydrate source mm -hmm. then the other quarter you can put a protein source. A protein source is what we call uh, sauce, mm. S A U C E. Mm. So, like your chick zemba, mm. so your chicken, your beans, your. Mm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And if you just do that, if you just do that change, just that small change mm. in your nutrition, you'll see like a week down the road, a month, right? These, these days build upon each other. Mm -hmm. You will actually feel the mm. change to your physique. Ala nate ni naba gai vange ayo ede yo jetuve wa finga ye chiko mando every day atenga akuba ne chuma how dangerous is that that is super dangerous i mean that guy is um he's 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 eating dough it's very processed i mean he's having some eggs but those eggs have been burnt mm -hmm. uh, they have been it, it, there's no nutritional value in it right okay. or if it is there it's very on it's, it's very small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would highly recommend such a guy. We're, we're a blessed nation, right? You mm -hmm. can throw something in the ground somewhere mm -hmm. and you leave it and it grows. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the foods, are, they are super organic. So I, I, I would highly recommend such a guy 
take a um, pumpkin eh? mm-hmm. um, for a carbohydrate put, put in some dodo mm-hmm. some spinach all these are things that are very cheap mm-hmm. in nakasero believe it or not even when you go down to nakasero it, somewhere around maybe midday some of the things are actually being thrown away right because there haven't been people mm. to come out and buy them so um so you guys should why? know they actually have whatever they need we we are, we have absolutely everything that we need to be healthier happier mm. oh, Alan, is it because you are in the u.s oh man yeah, people who go to the u.s have this tendency of coming and saying yo you're so blessed <laughs> well we are hustling don't tell us those things of oh my goodness you're so blessed every friend of mine that has gone to the u.s or to the diaspora you come back at us we have everything we need yes. what 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 that is so true those guys are not <laughs> lying to you mm. they me i had the luxury mm-hmm. of doing it for 11 years Okay. I left when I was 19. I was in VAC. Mm-hmm. I came back 2018. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So what they tell you, you know, the U.S., if you're going to eat healthy, mm-hmm. be a writer organic, if you're going to go and shop organic, mm-hmm. you're going to part with a lot of money. Um, your grocery bill, mm-hmm. believe it or not, will be on the high side, right? Mm-hmm. And so you found everybody, most of the majority of the people are found eating GMO. So like the apple you're going to get here is very different from the apple you're going to get in the U.S. that is not organic. Why is that? Well, um, so much processing. So much processing. It's a fast nation, right? Te why not time? Mm. Like kulinda kulinda perennial crops. Kulinda perennial crops. <laughs> you go up kule, yes. to ke, you know, whereas you know, on our side, Uganda, mm-hmm. we we're just that blessed of a nation. Mm-hmm. Um and so we, we have everything literally we need. Mm. Uh, all that we will ever need in our laps. As we're finalizing, talking talk to that person who is just lazy. Sent a zina, but they feel like ah, I'm so lazy. How do they break the barrier of laziness? Because we have a lot of people from the office to home. Maybe to cafe Javas, mm. then again I'm office. The, like the, the routine is that straight. Uh, mm. So guys, um, man, woman, uh, if you're watching this and you're that you know quote unquote lazy person, mm. um, I don't believe that there is such a thing as a lazy person. There is an uninspired or maybe uh. um, an individual that doesn't that hasn't yet tasted something different. Mm-hmm. Um, at We Are Vessels, we will start you off light right so together we're not going to have you cramped up the whole week because we know that you have been seated on your couch mm. <laughs> yeah. at the office at the office mm. uh lunch break or career or million generally and so we start you off slow mm-hmm. as we build you up right mm-hmm. and build on your strengths mm-hmm. and so if you want a better you and trust me once the moment you get to taste this other side of life of living somewhat of majority of a healthier lifestyle mm. you will never look back mm-hmm. you will be so much happier and, and all around a better individual your all your facets of life you'll be it, it's it's a keystone habit right mm. it feeds into every other thing mm-hmm. that you have built up your family life your finance you'll find yourself to be more driven um, in, in your, your goals and life and everything that you undertake okay Alan our time is really really well spent we have like one, two minutes to wind up the show. However, lastly, I want you to talk to someone who is passionate like you. Mm. A young man, a young uh, uh, lady out there. They are passionate about health. They are passionate about the gym. But their, uh, their family is traditional like mine. Gendo kolelo, gan do medicine, gan do engineering, gan do this. Don't tell us you are passionate about the gym. Gym doesn't bring food on the table. Talk to that young man who is who is um, disillusioned, and also talk to the parent. Wow, you're touching on something that's very near and dear to my heart. Mm. Myself, I have a background mm. in engineering. A chant while a chant while I'm US was like most people was mm-hmm. to study, pursue a better life. Mm-hmm. And so my background is in oil and gas. Are you um, kidding me? And is here wasting time? <laughs> <laughs> wasting time at all. Yeah. Um, uh, so so anyway so. Like everybody else, um, I have I have something that I I maybe could call something to lean back on, mm, mm, mm. a degree, a plan B, a plan B. Mm. But I can tell you for for a fact, right? Mm. If you're out there, you're a, a boy or a girl, and you're passionate about health and fitness. Granted, um, I can tell you this, right? We Uganda is moving at a fast pace, mm-hmm. and um, I would 
highly recommend, right? Do not let this thing die. Um, if you have the acumen or the ability to start up on the side, right? For me, I, I highly recommend mm. um, it's like a side hustle, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you if you're passionate about health and fitness, why not start it up on the side? Right, mm -hmm. and then work yourself through the ranks, and maybe tomorrow you'll be owning a fitness facility. Okay. You're a okay. franchise. You're mm -hmm. in, you're in Nile, you're in Nile Avenue. You are at, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all these different suburbs around Kampala. Mm -hmm. um, because at the end of the day, you're, you're you're planting an entrepreneurship spirit, which is what should be encouraged, okay. really, as a nation. So you're more of an entrepreneur, but in your passion. In your passion, yes. What you're passionate about, yes. Actually, so man, it's a wrap. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a wrap. It's uh, we can you know we can never exhaust this in the last uh, in these thirty minutes, and that's why the desk remains the best because it ends while it is still hot. All right, now you've been a lovely audience. It's been Mr. Alan Guma. He's a fitness instructor. He has a he's actually an entrepreneur. I know a business and that's that to Gambia. However, let's just go with what he has told us. Now good night, good luck, adios for God and my country. God bless this very beautiful Uganda.